Hey guys, this is Yeser who is not good at algorithms. How is everything going? In this video, I'm going to take a look at 348, designing a tic-tac-toe. Okay, we're going to design a tic-tac-toe game that is played between two players on an end by end grid. We am assume that the following rules. A move is guaranteed to be valid mm -hmm. and is placed on an empty block. Mm -hmm. Once a winning condition is reached, no more moves is allowed. Mm -hmm. A player who succeeds in the placing of N of their mask in horizontal, vertical, or diagonal row win the game. So this example, given M equals to 3, so player A 1 is placed X and player 2 is on 0 on the board. Mm -hmm. Tic-tac-toe, new tic-tac-toe. So this means uh, player 1 will play a move at 0, 0, and it should return 0. No one wins. So Player two plays zero, move at zero two, place zero there. No one wins. No one wins. No one wins. No one wins. No one wins until here. No wing. Somebody wins. Well, um, so actually, when we are, we can we can uh, create a matrix, right? Create an n by n matrix, and actually puts the numbers in, and for each each move, we just put update the matrix. And uh, check if that check if somebody wins. So check would be look for each row and look for and count, uh, count them up and look for each row, count them up, look for each column, count them up, and uh, look for each diagonal and uh, count them up. Right? Well, it will actually be uh, like it would be. Oh, n should be uh, n, 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 2n, and 3n. So linear time, and it will be counting 2 again. So 4 times n. So it's linear time. Could we do better than square? Ah, I made a mistake. So this is n, and this is n row. So it's square. So if we check, if we do like this, it will be uh, quadratic time. Well, how could we improve? Well, if we move to some position, so how can we judge that uh, it is a judge that it is a wing or not? If it is a wing, like we put a move out here. If it is a wing, it would only occur at this row and this column and this diagonal and this diagonal, right? So we can actually check only this, check only those uh, rows and columns and diagonals. So we don't need to check all of them. And uh, this check could actually, because we're counting the, uh, the, uh, the, the amount of uh, moves, right? Like the here, you've got three moves on a row. This will be accumulative. That means we could actually cache all the uh, count for each row, for each column, and for each uh, diagonal, right? So when we each, uh, when we make a move each time, we will update the the, the count of all those possible uh, alignment for winning. That so. Uh, we don't need the matrix. We only need the counting of each possible alignment, and uh, yeah, that could be. You, you see, for n, there will be n rows and columns and n two diagonal, so it will be two n right linear space and time. Yeah, so we could improve from quadratic to linear. So let's do it. There will be two players. Um, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just uh, create, um, array, cost, this is a rows count, rows, a uh, count on rows, because we have two players, we set the players is one, two, so it will be array, Uh, 
uh, uh, define move of user one, move of user two. Or we just uh, use minus one. Yeah, minus one may be better. Cool. Yeah, kind of row. Okay, it will be. You will be uh, any rows. Ah, I made a mistake here. Should be here. Kind of row new in, and uh, it should be fill zero and map zero zero right. The winning move is zero. So const count on column. It's the same. Const count diagonal will be only two, right? It's this and this. We choose uh, from top left is the first one. Okay, we just say zero, 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 zero. Top left diagonal is the first. Cool. Now the, we have the we have this. Oh, I forgot. It should be this. Maybe I can use a count. Hmm, yeah, I think make it into one object would make it cleaner. Row. This is a column. This is diagonal. Cool. So, and this. This uh this is the target Z. Okay. Now we move. What do we do? We update. Okay, we first get the uh, okay, we update the count for row, column and count diagonal. This is diagonal. If meets target, return true. Return the player. Or zero, right? Okay, so now we've we are put in a row and column, which which would get uh First, it gets the row, right? Row and a column. Let's update the row and a column first. So, if I oh know this, uh, so get row cost row would be this count. Uh, no, um, wait a minute. Yeah, row. Okay, I just use row. These count uh, row or get by row. Right? Yeah, if if row. Okay, we'll update it. So row the player. Remember to minus one. Uh, plus one. If row play row player if row player is we now update it right if it call this target 
the return player. Now we will do this for, for column. Oh, this row actually a conflict. Okay, we use this, this. Cool. Now we check diagonal, right? The diagonal there will be only this is row column row column. So diagonal would be this case or in this right so for this it would be if row plus column equals to hmm, equals to no 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 this is zero zero one one Uh, if it is equal to, yeah, if it is equal to column, then we check the diagonal zero, right? Const diagonal this count di uh, diagonal zero. So we update it. If diagonal player one plus one if this target we return player and for the next one it is this which means this zero one two one one so if row plus co equals this target so it means that it's on the diagonal of this we will do the same but we choose the diagonal of second one update it we play not zero so it's done right I think it should work <gasps> it's not <laughs> what uh -huh. for here diagonal will not be updated player one uh, sad man where wh what's wrong mm -hmm. row mm -hmm. row count man I made a mistake here Mm -hmm. We got a wrong answer. Two. We got only two. What? So the board of two, we first put a zero, uh, player one put a zero, one, zero, one, and then the two put a one, one. And the user put zero, one, zero, and player one win. It's right, actually. We now see what happens. Let's uh, lock the, let's lock this row, this count of row. This count of column, this count of diagonal. <gasps> I know what happened. The, the index plus this should be minus one. Shit. Yeah. Sad. Pretty sad, man. This is such an easy, easy problem, but I cannot do it with one pass. Mm, sad, 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 sad. Time. And for now, you see, for each round, for n, we just uh, get the uh, get the uh, 
the row count. There's no forward up here. Yeah, so it's a constant time, right, for move. But we use extra. We, we trade. Uh, we trade space for time. So actually, for the time, it's constant now. Bar space. Actually, as we said, we 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 will use. Uh, uh, yeah, it's here. So O, three n plus two. So we use linear space to improve the time from quadratic to yeah to 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 constant. Wow, it's not bad, right? Okay, so it's kind of like we did. It. It's kind of like, like the n queen problem. Remember when we are going to tackle the n queen problem, we use backtracking to put uh, put on the put on the uh, uh, point. Just keep putting putting in the chest, but while we put in it, we're we're going to track if we can put it in, put it or not, right? So that requires us to not put two queens on the same row, some row, some column, or some diagonal. So we use a three, a three arrays. One is row for row, one is for column, one is for diagonal. It's com more complicated than this. For the problem here, we're using a two. An array of two items to keep track of the only two diagonal possible diagonals, but for inquiring problems, problems there will be like this diagonal and this diagonal, right? So it's a lot. And but the be but the the concept or the idea is basically the same. So we use this to track uh, the, the the success or failure of each move. So cool. Okay, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you. See you next one. See you next time. Bye bye.